A lot of people say that when a time for an idea has come, then there will be a large number of people who will start identifying with that idea. The world where fellow human beings do not exploit other human beings, that is a world without exploitation. In a new world that we seek to create, uh, that world would also need to have a way of creating knowledge, uh, of transmitting knowledge, of reaching knowledge out to those who need it the most. We share knowledge, it does not diminish, it expands. In the last 18 years, iniquity has grown. You've heard that before. So we have eight people. Some of these statistics are so startling, we just read them and go on. So I want you to close your eyes, think about this. Eight people, just eight people have more money, have more wealth than half the human race. So you have, in the last 18 years, we have also learned that finally, the hunger of capital has crossed borders into the belly of the beast. The hunger of capital today haunts Europe, today haunts not America as well, and not just uh, our countries in the South. The pursuit of the grey is elegant, but unfortunately, uh, in some situations, uh, it is a binary. Uh, and uh, it is a binary when people die. When in the pursuit of the grey, rather than the white or the black, when people die, I think it becomes a binary. And that is what we are seeing today. We are seeing that the rise of the private sector means that too many people are dying when they should not be dying. I don't think uh, this is a situation when we can look for the shades of grey. We have to look for black and white. So one of my best memories of Savar in 2000 was sitting with our Palestinian comrades. Was sitting with their Palestinian comrades and, and for me, who in much of my student activism, we would march for Palestine. But we hadn't actually seen too many people from Palestine. It was one of the memories that we took back from Palestine. In this last 18 years, Palestine has shrunk further. And we have a world which is blind to what is happening in Palestine today. Somehow, uh, growing up in the 70s and 80s in public health, in public health activism, uh, we always believe that health is about caring. The struggle for health is a struggle for a more caring world. And I think that's what we are here together, to build a more caring world. The days when you can make a difference to dialogue uh, is increasingly uh, getting over. Uh, increasingly, countries in the North as well in the South are under the neoliberal discourse, the global neoliberal regime, the, under the influence of global capital. And so what matters, finally, is the number of people that we can today put on the streets, the number of people that we can mobilize. I'll end by the immortal words penned by Bertolt Brecht when he said, will there be singing in the times of darkness? Yes, there will be singing of the times of darkness.